YouTube, so I wanted to take a moment and respond on my take on the concept of shipping real people. Um, yesterday I watched a video by Liam Dryden, I will link to that below, uh, about the concept of shipping. And I wanted to really just sound off on that, I guess. Now, I am a member of many a fandom. Uh, if you have my Tumblr, you already know I ship a lot of things. However, there are entertaining pairings that I find more interesting emotionally charged on a fictional side. The idea of shipping in regards to celebrities is kind of weird. I mean, I guess because the viewer is perceiving this intangible or characterized individual, they tend to treat them in a similar fashion as you would a fictional person. Uh, the laws of propriety and boundaries tend to disappear, um, and impulses are allowed to reign supreme, much like most of the opinions on the internet, because trolls. Regardless, while I may have opinions on my friends in personal life, um, I have them based on evidence and experience that can directly support and substantiate um, any type of thoughts on their romantic involvement with others that travel in similar circles. This is not the case for YouTubers or celebrities who I have no real life experience with outside of content that is produced and I have access to. This being said, um, I do tend to enjoy the concept of relationship and love. I love hearing about um, what's going on in people's life and the voyeuristic side that is explored through vlogs and YouTubers opens a can of worms um, where the content consumers are privy to parts of a person's life that previously weren't available based on location and attachment. That being said, do I secretly ship YouTubers? Not really. I don't know their romantic interests, orientation, status, aesthetic preferences, or history, so my ship would be full of holes and wouldn't make it out of the dock. As a writer, I try to create a believable experiences and emotional catalysts that, regardless of the environment, are accurate and relatable. This is somewhat difficult to do with a person that you've never met and only have information in the form of a practiced and often edited medium. I don't spend all of my time on a high horse, I promise, but I do have an issue with the idea that someone's opinion of what I should do with my life is better than mine, especially for individuals who actually don't know anything about me. So you can imagine how I feel about someone instilling that type of pompous um, ideology onto someone else. Now, I am human and there's two folds to this kind of co concept. There's the idea of shipping two com people with each other and then there's the idea of shipping yourself with another person. Um, We've all read Mary Sue's and fan fictions. It's just a thing. I get it. But, and while I might have some type of superfluous attraction and interest in shipping individuals with myself based on common interests, aesthetic preference, and my penchant for Eastern European accents, sure. This doesn't mean I have the inability to recognize that my fantasy is no more real than the fan fictions written about shipping characters like Castiel and Dean, Rose and Tantu or pretty much anybody and myself with Loki or Tom Hiddleston. However, in a having attraction based on limited information is called a crush. They're fleeting, shallow, sometimes grow into something else with nurturing communication and space, but in the end of the day, feeling that two people would go well together based on your personal preferences is not really appropriate for real life. I would prefer people to recognize that content creators and traditional celebrities alike have a life outside of the camera, one that should be respected, um, acknowledged, and protected. Uh, if you don't want your parents kind of running your life or telling you that your decisions suck, then you probably shouldn't attempt to force that type of selfish opinion on someone else, especially a person who you admire or interest in, in and probably isn't an actual friend in real life, no matter how many videos you've watched. So in closing, I guess I'm basically trying to say, um, YouTubers are real people, no matter what we create and what we show you. And there are parts of our lives that you don't really have a say-so in. Granted, you can make Dan is not on fire brush his teeth with Nutella, but you can't tell him who he gets to date.